Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So welcome to the second video of the kinetics of DK. It, it will be about semi-log paper. How can we use the semi-log paper to study the kinetics of the radioactive decay? So these are the this is the conventional graph and this is the semi-log paper. So semi-log paper simply uh, is the graph paper which has one linear axis and one log axis. So this is the uh, the definition of the semi-log paper. So first have a look what are the similarity between the uh, simple conventional uh, graph paper and the semi log graph paper so the similarity is if you have a look on the axis x axis so uh, for the uh, graph paper so x axis uh, so all the intervals on the x axis are at regular distance from one another so there is one space second third space each small division are at the regular distance from one another and similarly here if you have a look on the uh, x-axis of the semi log graph paper and this is also having the the same interval at a regular distance from one another so this is the the similarity between the uh, these two graphs so actually uh, here one axis uh, in the semi-log paper, one axis is the, the log axis and but here there is no log axis, both are the without log axis, even the y axis or the x axis. Now have a look what is the, the difference between these two graphs. So the difference uh, between these two graphs is uh, here the y, uh, y axis of the simple graph paper is also having interval that is making at the regular distance from one another. So each is the distance between one small division with the other small division, it is the same space or the same distance from one point to the other point or from one line to the other line. But here if you uh, look at the y-axis of the semi-log paper uh, so on semi-log paper y-axis is broken into the cycles so here there are the three cycle like here one to here this is one cycle here to 1000 to 10,000 this is the second cycle 10,000 to 100,000 this will be the third cycle so y-axis is divided into the cycles so uh, so what is uh, this is the uh, the difference between the uh, simple conventional graph paper and the semi log paper so what is what what is about the the other divisions which are present within a cycle so within each cycle baseline is the beginning of the cycle so this let's suppose this is the the first line so this we call it the this is the the baseline uh, and this is the beginning of this cycle which is starting from 100 and each baseline above so each baseline above me so from 100 to here is the multiple of the line below so it will be going to increase in a multiple as compared to the baseline so what does it mean that means if the baseline is 100 so multiple of 100 this line will be the 200 this line will be the 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 and 1000 and this is the the first cycle so the other cycle is now 1000 now this is the baseline of uh, 1000 and if this is the baseline and second line will be multiple of this one that means this will be the 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 7000 8000 9000 and the 10000 and similarly above so uh, here the importance of this one is the because i i have shown here the uh, the 
straight line equation with intercept and even you can use the equation without intercept so uh, one of the disadvantage of the conventional graph paper is if i want to plot the data by using this equation so x axis will remain unchanged that means it is the, just the time time may be in minutes or the seconds or the year or whatever so so but at the y axis i have to take the log natural of the n or the log natural of the activity so first uh, you have to take the log natural and then you have to plot and after this you can get the straight line as i have shown or presented in the, the first slide so you have to uh, watch again the first video about the this straight line equation so what is the advantage of the semi log paper there is no need to convert the uh, the uh, nucleide or the activity uh, into the uh, log natural because this is or the log because this y axis is already the the log axis so you can directly use the value you can directly use the value as the y axis and it will automatically convert into the uh, log form so the advantage of the semi log paper is there is no need to uh, use the, the uh, log or the log natural to first convert the values into log natural and then you have you have to plot like in a conventional graph paper but in case of the semi log paper you can directly use the number of the activity to get the data fit on the semi log paper so let's have another uh, uh, different cycles uh, uh, of the semi log papers because uh, this you have to decide because it depends on your data if your data is uh, 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 small so you have to adjust the cycle according to your data so let, let's suppose if uh, my data is uh, up to uh, 1000 so i will take the the first cycle uh, uh, starting with one and the this will be the baseline of the cycle and the second will be the multiple of one that means it will be the two uh, and third will be the, the uh, thrice of this one three times of the baseline fourth one will be the four time of the baseline so it will just uh, uh, coming up with the one two three four five six seven eight nine or ten and now this will become the baseline so actually this is, will be the first cycle now for the cycle uh, second cycle will be the multiple of uh, this baseline and the second will be the multiple of the 10 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and this is the second and third cycle will start with the baseline of 100 and second line will be the 200 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. So actually, uh, you, you can decide uh, the base value according to the data available to you. So if, uh, uh, let's see another, uh, this is the two cycle. So if my data is starting from the 10, so I will take the, the baseline at 10. So there is no worry about uh, uh, the uh, the fixing of the data because it will automatically convert into the log values because this is the semi log paper so this is the baseline of uh, this graph starting with the 10 and multiple of the 10 with the 20 second line with the 20 30 40 50 similarly up to 100 and this will be the first cycle and the second cycle will be the starting with the 100 multiple of uh, 100 will be the 200 300 400 500 6 7 8 hundred, nine hundred, and the 1000 let's suppose if my data is starting from 100 and uh, going to the 1000 so uh, there is the uh, nonsense if you will be using the uh, cycle with one or with the 10 so just start with the 100 so it, it, it is up to the the lower value as well so it, it is starting with the 10 so you have to start with the the baseline 10 so if the data is just only having the higher values so between let's suppose 100 to 
100,000. So you can take the base as the 100. So multiple of the 100 will be the 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. So like a similar case I have explained here or the similar case I have explained here. There was the third cycle and here was the second cycle, but here it is the, the first cycle. So again, it is up to you. You can modify this cycle or you can just change the uh, uh, y-axis according to the data. So again, now this will be the baseline for the second cycle. So multiple of 1000 will be the total, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000, and the 10,000. And similarly, now this will be the baseline and you can move to the uh, third cycle, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and similarly up to, it will become the 100,000. So this is the just uh, how can you fit the data uh, by using the semi-log paper, especially on the y-axis because the x-axis will remain the, uh, there is no change and it will be the similar as compared to the conventional uh, graph paper. So this is all about the uh, uh, semi-log paper. So in the, the first video, I have already explained the kinetics and the half-life. And in this video, I have explained the semi-log paper. And in the third video, I will be going to explain the application of the graph paper. How can we use this graph paper to separate the, or to analyze the radioactive mixture? So all these will be available uh, uh, on my YouTube channel. And you, even you can also search by using my name to watch the other videos. So, Thank you for watching and see you in the third video of this lecture.